Hello and welcome to Wild Church. Today's theme of the gathering is to do with God's promises and unfailing love for all people. And we are going to be looking at the colour of creation and using the rainbow to focus our activities and our prayers. During these challenging times, perhaps you see no colour or hope. Perhaps you question God's promises. I hope this service is this service is an encouragement to you to seek beauty when it is bleak and to find hope when it feels hopeless. So we start with the welcome. The world around us is full of beauty. We praise your name, O God, for the gift of life on earth. We praise your name, O God. Open our eyes to see your artistry, your image in all that you have made. Where our praise is short or silent, creation sings out with joy. Here we join creation's song, we praise your name, O God. And our opening prayer, all things bright and beautiful all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. He gave us eyes to see them and lips that we might tell how great is God Almighty who has made all things well. Amen. And we are now going to go on a rainbow hunt. Oh, so you could do this in your own garden you could do this in your own home. So I want you to see if you can go for a bit of a wonder and collect all the colours of the rainbow. And I spotted earlier, spotted earlier even, this holly bush. And something that grows on holly usually um, are red berries. And oh yeah, there's a couple here. Can we see? Can we see that red berry? So we've got red holly berries, the bird's favourite. So we can tick off our red. What colour comes after red in the rainbow? Orange. So look what I found. Does anyone know what these are called? They're called catkins. And they hang in the trees. But look, they've died and they've turned orange. So I think we can have that as our orange. Should we go find our next colour? And what comes after orange? Well, it's Charlie's favourite colour, which is yellow. And it's another woodland flower. So perhaps if you want to identify what we've been finding, you can download the woodland flower spotter sheet. But isn't that a lovely example of yellow? Green, Green is everywhere. So shall we have a look round and see what do you notice that is green? We've got green leaves on the trees. We've got green grass. We've got green leaves growing with the flowers on the woodland floor. We've got holly and hawthorn and ivy. There are just some examples of the greens you might be able to spot on your own walk. I spy some bluish flint. Look what I found. Come down here and have a look. What colour is this? It's absolutely beautiful. It's purple, isn't it? So we can tick off our last colour of the rainbow, which is purple. I really hope you've enjoyed joining in with this colour spotting activity. And now we have our reading from Genesis chapter 9, verses 16. When the bow is in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is on the earth. And now a time of reflection. So God placed a rainbow in the sky as a symbol of his promise to never again, ever again send a flood like the one that Noah has survived in the ark. 
Today the rainbow is a symbol of hope for us, a reminder to us that God keeps his promises. In October last year, I went on a five day individually guided retreat. Did I mention that it was a silent retreat? Well, if you've never been on one, I do encourage you to go and try it out. Anyway, the reason I mention it is at the end of the week, I gathered together with the other retreatants and we were encouraged to share a reflection from our week. My reflection, I've never known a valley with so many rainbows. Those that know me appreciate that I love being outdoors. So naturally, I spent a large proportion of my time on retreat exploring the beautiful Yorkshire countryside. Where I was staying overlooked a valley and with it being Yorkshire, there was plenty of rain, but so too rainbows. On arriving at the retreat house, I was getting over an illness and feeling pretty grotty. One could say I felt a bit in the valley. My life felt a bit monochrome, more bleak than beauty. However, throughout the week on my walks or whilst gazing out the window, I was always confronted by big and bright, beautiful rainbows. So here's a quick science lesson for those being homeschooled at the moment. Rainbows are formed when sunlight is scattered from raindrops into the eyes of an observer. Most raindrops are spherical rather than the often depicted teardrop shape. And it is this spherical shape that provides the conditions for a rainbow to be seen. Perhaps you could make it a project to find out more about, more about rainbows this week. Also look up Brockenbow or Brocken Spectre. I was lucky enough to observe one of these when I lived in Wales and was adventuring in the mountains. Anyway, there are two reasons, two reasons why I have focused our attention on the rainbow today. Firstly, to remind ourselves of God's promise to us. As God put the rainbow in the sky as a covenant or agreement with Noah, never to flood the earth in that way again, so too does that promise extend to us. What other promises does God give us? Perhaps spend a few minutes saying out loud or in your heart, heart what these could be. Here are some of God's promises from the Bible. From Joshua 1 verse 9. Be strong and brave. Don't be afraid because the Lord your God will be with you everywhere you go. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. I have good plans for you, not plans to hurt you. I will give you hope and a good future. Romans 8 verse 28. We know that in everything God works for the good of those who love him. Ask God who needs encouraging today and then send them a promise verse. The second reason for the focus of the rainbow is to help us appreciate the colour in our lives. We can look at our lives and our world and naturally see the pain and the struggles and the difficulties. Or we can look at our lives and the world and try and find the beauty when it's bleak. We will soon be coming to the end of Lent and into Holy Week as we journey with Jesus to the cross. It may look bleak, but we have resurrection hope. The Church of England have an excellent resource called Live Lent. You can sign up to their daily emails and this week's reflection looks at the fifth day of the Genesis 1 account, the creation of the birds of the air and the creatures of the waters. If you look about you or when watching a nature documentary, appreciate the extravagant diversity, over 10,000 species of bird and over 30,000 species of fish have been so far identified. And what a rainbow of colour they are. Keep God's promises close and I invite you to notice the colours in the world and give thanks for the beauty to be found even in the bleakest of rain showers. Amen. And if you would like to now listen to the song, um, the link can be found on the order of service. 
and three lines of the song really struck me as I listened to it. God of your promise, you don't speak in vain. No syllable empty or void. The song is by Hillsong Worship called So Will I, a hundred billion times. And now we come to our time of prayer. And in the order of service, you will find rainbow prayers. And sitting with the colours you found on your rainbow hunt, I would encourage you to use the prompts found on the order of service to pray, to thank God, to ask for help for yourself and for others, to pray for the sick, pray for protection for those on the front line, and thank God for his promises and never ending love. Let's pray. So looking at the colour red, we give thanks to you, God, that you love us and that you are always with us. We look at our colour orange. Dear God, please help us to be patient, to wait and to listen to you and to be obedient while we wait for this crisis to end. Moving to the colour yellow. Dear God, please help all those who are scared. May they, may they know your perfect peace that takes away all fear. And may they find beauty in the bleakness. Holding our colour green. Dear God, please look after all those who are sick. Give them the treatment and help they need to recover. Send your healing power into all the world. Focusing our attention, our attention on the colour blue. Dear God, please protect all those who are working for the NHS. Thank you for all they are doing to protect us. Thank you, Lord, for all frontline workers for teachers, for shop workers, for delivery drivers, for all those that have been called out to work while we have to remain at home. Please protect them and be with them. And noticing our colour purple. Thank you God that we are children of the King of Kings. Thank you that even though we are in difficult times, we can trust in you and your promises and pray your kingdom come. And if you manage to find pink, thank you God that we know you will bring us through this crisis to safety on the other side, just as you protected Noah and brought him and his family through the flood. Amen. And our closing prayer. Eternal God, born into one place and time. For the sake of every place and time, wherever we live and work, you are already there, waiting to be discovered in the adventure of reality. Give us discernment to follow your tracks through the cutting edge of culture and voices of our times. Make us bold to step outside our old religious comforts to live and build your kingdom with the stuff that's all around us. Amen. And if you would like to undertake the family challenge from the Live Lent resource that I mentioned earlier, a link can be found, or an, an explanation even, sorry, can be found at the end of the order of service, along with a link to a, a really great show that I've been watching called Wild Britain. Um, so you can watch nature in action if you can't get outdoors to appreciate it. And there's also a list of resources that have been used to put this service together. So thank you for joining me uh, for Wild Church. And as I said, I led this service from the comfort of my own home, looking out into my garden. Um, I will see you again next Wednesday for Wild Church Wednesday. But until then, stay well.